Tip 5. Ascent Rate In paragliding, ascent rate is measured in meters per second. In dynamic wind flight, we typically climb steadily between 1 to 3 meters per second. However, in thermals, ascent rates can vary significantly, from 0 to 10 meters per second or even more, depending on the strength of the thermal. Within the same thermal, ascent rates can also vary based on the thermal's development stage and where you are within it. If you're flying steadily in dynamic wind and suddenly feel an increase in ascent rate that fluctuates, you might be in a thermal. Tip 6. Thermals help you spiral. When you're flying in a thermal and trying to spiral, which means making 360-degree turns inside it, the thermal itself helps you complete the turn, making it easier to spiral. It's almost like the thermal is pulling you into the turn. However, when attempting a 360-degree turn in dynamic wind, completing the turn becomes difficult, especially when flying with a tailwind towards the mountain. At that point, you might even feel like the brake isn't responding properly and you begin to skid towards the mountain. This is why, in dynamic conditions, we only do 180-degree turns flying in zigzags along the cliff or mountain, always turning away from the mountain. With all this said, if you're flying close to a mountain and suspect you've entered a thermal, you can try spiraling. If it feels easy and pleasant to complete a 360-degree turn while climbing, you're likely in a thermal. On the other hand, if spiraling doesn't help, your glider doesn't respond well, and you're not climbing, it was probably just dynamic wind lift, and you should avoid spiraling.